Has this ever happened to you? Lizards are really good. Another blizzard, dude. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, dude. Another, I'm actually losing my mind right now. Bro. <laughs> bro. <laughs> bro, I'm losing my mind. I'd be willing to bet that at some point you went up against a freeze mage and had a bad time. I certainly know it's happened to me. Playing against a freeze mage or really any freeze based archetype is the most unintuitive way to play Hearthstone. All you do is sit and wait while your opponent continues to play the game all by themselves. I'm sure I can't be the only one who thinks this just is not fun. Recently, I've set out on a mission to overhaul some of Hearthstone's older classes to bring them more in line with modern standards for a Hearthstone class. I've already overhauled the Shaman and Priest classes, and today's video will be my overhaul of the Mage class. Specifically, I'll be overhauling the Freeze mechanic. In general, I feel like Mage works pretty well. It has some clear themes in its mastery over spells, and some fairly defined archetypes through their different spell schools. Overall, Mage is a fun class to play, but it's just not fun to play against. So I reimagined the freeze mechanic in an attempt to make it less infuriating. To this end, I've thought of a new keyword that would completely replace the freeze keyword. Presenting the chill keyword. The chill keyword works similar to freeze in that a chilled character can't attack the opposing hero, but a chilled character will still be able to attack minions. This way you can still protect your hero when you chill your enemies, but you won't be able to also safely build a board while doing so. Any card that features the freeze keyword would get updated with the chill keyword instead. This would of course also be the case for the most oppressive freeze cards, such as Cone of Cold, Frost Nova and Frost Bolt. But since the chill keyword is significantly weaker than the freeze keyword, some of the updated cards would receive a power boost, such as Steep Freeze returning with a cheaper mana cost and Popsy Cooler and Warden Dawn Grasp receiving a slight stat boost. I even gave a small power boost to some of the more oppressive cards, since I felt the freeze aspect was the most oppressive element of those cards. This can be seen with a new 5 mana Blizzard and with Nightcloak Sanctum getting back its original 3 durability. Now, if you're a Freeze Mage player watching this, you're probably preparing to write an angry comment. But don't worry, I also made something for you. You'll still be able to play your beloved Freeze stick with the brand new legendary Coldbringer Kelfusad. Can you feel the chill in your bones? Coldbringer Kelfusad is a 7 mana 6 8 on the minion with a start of game effect. If all the spells in your deck are frost spells, Kelfusad will cause your chill effects to freeze instead this game. Freeze and shatter! This means your freeze cards would function the same as they did before this update, but only if the spells in your deck are all frost spells, and your deck would also have to contain a simple 7 mana 6 8 minion. Well, that's the main premise of our mage overhaul. I guess this video could have also been called Grown Man Rants About Freeze Mage for several minutes. I know this wasn't as much of an overhaul as my last episodes, but there's a reason for that. Bionic Doll also has a series of Hearthstone class overhauls called Hearthstone Classes Revisited. The very first episode in this series was his mage overhaul, and it just did such a good job of updating the mage class that anything I could attempt would never come close. If you're interested in seeing a real mage overhaul, you should check out that video. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Well, that's it for this video. Don't forget to leave a like or a comment if you enjoyed the video and consider subscribing to the channel for more custom Hearthstone content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time.